Hey everyone, welcome back to Slime Rancher. I'm Jason, and today we're playing Slime Rancher's Rush Mode. In Rush Mode, you have a set amount of time to make as much money as possible and collect as many plort bonuses as possible. You receive a plort bonus for collecting 25 of each type of plort. Uh, the more plort bonuses you have, the better score you will have at the end of the game. I believe that this run-through will be released over the course of several videos, likely four, so uh, expect to see this playthrough released over several videos, just like my playthrough of the early access version of Peglin. I will be using the pause button quite a bit because uh, that will allow me to provide commentary and explain what I'm doing in the game without running down the clock and the limited amount of time I have to complete the many uh, things that need to be done in order to achieve a good score. I think that about covers it. Uh, so yes, welcome to part one of my playthrough of Rush Mode in Slime Rancher. A race against the clock to earn as many new bucks as possible. So my high score is 365,760. I will be happy if we get 200,000 in this run-through. Uh, and again, that will be determined in large part based upon the luck of the draw with the fetch quests that we receive from the range exchange. So if you are completely unfamiliar with Slime Rancher, uh, this is probably not the video to start with. Um, I will have a link to my first video on Slime Rancher, as well as my write-up of the game on my blog, Meticulous Musings. Uh, both of those will be in the description below. So on my VAT gun, you can see how much time I have left. I can extend that time by completing the fetch quests from the range exchange. And my first task is to collect all of the pink slimes that are loose on the ranch from the beginning. The second is I'm going to collect some money from one of the treasure pods at the back of the ranch. It's going to be easy to forget if you don't end up using this ranch expansion uh, during your playthrough. And it also helps you get some good starting funds. Then there are some easy fruits and vegetables uh, to collect on your main area of your ranch. And now that I have taken care of those, I'm going to see what the range exchange has to offer. So, this is Thor West, one of the ranchers. Best part of the range? You hear all those cars and people? Yeah, I don't either. So, she wants 16 pink slimes, 7 tabby slimes, and 5 rock slimes. So, we'll dump off our 4 pink slimes. And then, since the pink slimes are so convenient, we'll pick up 12 more. In this starter part of the map, they literally pop out of the ground. A mere feet away from your ranch. And because they are so plentiful throughout the whole map, you don't really need to spend time uh, ranching them on your own ranch. You can just collect their ports as needed. 
So we have 13, that should be enough for the first third of the fetch quest we have received. And you are going to want to do all of the fetch quests, because that gives you the most time to work with. I'll click you back up. Okay, so we will come back with other slimes later. Right off the bat, I like to get a carrot patch and a pogo fruit tree going, so that can both of those can grow while I'm off doing other things throughout the map. Also, the tabby gordos that are blocking teleporters each take one hen hen to pop uh, into its component tabby slimes. At this point, you got to be careful and watch your stamina meter in the bottom left, because otherwise you can fall in the water, get knocked out, and lose lots of time and everything in your backpack. So I don't need this pink slime. The main thing we're going to do here on the Dry Reef Island is pop a pink gordo. It's going to take 20 food items. Uh, any 20 will do. And we'll also collect a couple of the more exotic fruits and vegetables, like the Q-berry. And the heartbeat. The favorite foods of the phosphor and rock slimes, respectively. So I should have three carrots left by the time this pink gordo pops. Yep. Okay. And if you pop the crates, even if you don't take anything from them, you do get some money as well, which in the beginning is going to be quite helpful. And we do not have any remaining backpack compartments, so we're not going to worry about collecting any of the pink ports or other things along the way. Get a treasure pod, and then a little bit of food on the return journey. Of course, now that I've actually begun the game, I realize I'm probably not going to use the pause button for commentary too much. Uh, it doesn't seem to be taking away too much of my time and concentration from the gameplay. We'll see um, if that remains true as we uh, get closer and closer to the end. So the fifth compartment in the backpack is for water, uh, and you can collect water at certain points in the map, but not others, like you can't get it from the slime sea, for instance, but you can get it from the pond on your ranch, or any of several like little freshwater wells or geysers that are found elsewhere. see our bogo fruit and our carrots are growing. We have 585 new bucks to work with. That's enough for two gardens. So I'm going to grant I'm going to plant a heartbeat. I believe when you have the like menus open, I think that pauses the game. Like here you see the the clock is not moving, so you want a bit of a breather, uh, you can uh, take it at one of these points.
So I set up my uh, essentially free silos. Uh, theoretically, you can use those to teleport resources uh, between two points. Mainly, I just use them as free storage. Um, and next, I'm going to set up the teleporters. Heartbeat Garden Growing, and I will have the Qberry Garden Growing as well. So I have 19 minutes remaining in the fetch quest. The tabbies will collect from the next uh, teleporter uh, tabby that uh, we see in the dry reef. And then the rocks will worry about after that. It's going to take 20 of the carrots to pop the pink gordo that we're going to run into next, and then 30 of the boba fruit to pop the phosphor tabby that we'll run into after that, and then one hen hen to pop the tabby after that. Uh, I'm just collecting as many treasure pods as I can. Uh, in this part of the map. Again, the starter funds help you out quite a bit. Uh, you can get things started on your ranch early on. That saves you the hassle of not having them uh, when they are useful later in the run. So we're getting closer to nightfall, which is when the phosphor slimes will appear. the crates. The slimes will head toward the food. And it looks like I got one more. There are the phosphors coming out to play. Phosphors are the ones that kind of look like uh, the glow-in-the-dark bugs. Fireflies! That's the word I was looking for. excited for Slime Rancher 2. Uh, it is scheduled to come out sometime this year, and I'm sure it looks amazing from uh, what has been released so far in terms of screenshots and promos and the like. Okay, 
going to need a hen hen. If there are any to be found, which there are not. Okay. There we go, a roost row will do. And there's a hen hen. Could have used you earlier. Okay, we're going to collect the, the tabbies that came from the Gordo because we have the backpack space for them. Take you two. Okay. So now we have 1150 new bucks to spend. Four of the rock slimes. I'm gonna drop off the tabbies. Should have enough money to build a corral to keep them in. I just need an air net. There we go. So I like to have 10 Largos per pin, so we're going to need 6 uh, of the Phosphors. Uh, that'll be a convenient place for them in the grotto, encased from the sunlight. We have 3 of the Slime Keys, and we need Rock. Ooh, lots of Pink Quartz. I'm going to pick up the Pink Quartz. Uh, Hopefully I can get 25 of them now and not have to have that on my to-do list for later in the run. Okay, there's a bunch of them. Okay, don't need the pinks. Pick you up. And there is tar in the rush mode. My two videos that I recorded were in casual mode without the tar. Uh, you hear them before you see them with their danger approaching music in the background. Uh, got a bunch of rock slimes. Pick up some of you anyway. No, because I don't have the backpack space. Nope. Took my pink plort. Oh well. Okay. Hey, come on, Trisha Pod. Let's head out before the tars form from all of the biodiversity in one place. Okay, so I have carrots. I only need the one to pop the rock gordo here. Some more starter funds from the treasure pods. And now we should have enough to finish the first fetch quest, which will probably be a good place to end this part of the, or this video, uh, this part of the run. I only have 
the one phosphor slime, but they should be pretty easy to collect. It's still nighttime. Okay, so five more phosphors to collect. And I have opened up that backpack space, so that's good. One, two, three, four, and Thor West's quest is complete. The next quest will unlock at noon. Going to put away four of the Gilded Gingers, or three of them. So I have three remaining to pop one of the Golden Gordos, which will be the first thing that we do in the next video in this series. So, join me in a few days as we continue this run of... Slime Rancher Rush Mode.